Hi everyone, welcome to my new video. I'll be speaking about performance and stage behavior. Let's begin. So, you have to go on the stage and perform. But are you aware of your mistakes you might be making while you're at the stage? Uh, do you know how your performance and uh, how your behavior look like to other people? How do you present yourself? Do you present yourself as a confident performer or rather shy or insecure? Where do you stand? How do you place your music stand? How do you bow? Do you communicate with the audience? These are all the questions that we're going to talk about in this video. Okay, going out to the stage. There are two most common examples when you are really shy or insecure and really not feeling so comfortable and you show that and you feel all those things but you don't really show them you show rather the opposite thing uh, there are people that were thinking i was just really this cocky over self-confident girl who's going out at the stage, but uh, the truth is I was always terrified or, of going out uh, and uh, playing, especially if there is a competition. But I gave my best to seem confident, to seem as though I will own everything in the moment. So let's see the examples. Okay, so in my first example, the behavior is really obvious, I'm really terrified and really uncomfortable. But in the second example, uh, I seem confident. I have a mild smile on my face and my posture is very, very different from the previous one. So take your time and practice this in front of a mirror just to seem as confident as you want to seem to the audience even if you're not and in time you will embrace this behavior and you will even feel more confident how do you stand when you play many people i've seen playing they stand with their hips square and towards the audience but I would recommend just shifting a bit to your right because your instrument is on your right and you'll have to turn your torso so you're not be standing really straight as you imagined. So your left foot will be towards the audience and your right foot will be on your right, toward your right side. And then you have the most natural position for playing. Next question, where do you put your music stand if you're playing from your mu music scores? If you put it in front of you, you're blocking your, yourself from giving your music to the audience. And the audience cannot really see you. They can hear you, but you know, the visual is really interrupted by this music stand that it's in front of you. And even worse, if it's really high. You can compare this with public speakers. They always have their speeches written and in front of them, but they're usually reading them from here. They're placed here. They're not placed here, so they have the direct contact with the audience, and so should you. In order to have the direct contact and good communication with the audience, you have to place your music stand to the side, your left, your right, whatever you choose, but make sure to be visible from head to toe to the audience. During our performance and during the breaks in performance, we tend to do some things we're not aware of at all. So when we see ourselves uh, on video, we're thinking, come on, did I just do that? <laughs> the most common things that performers tend to do is wiping here under the lips 
or wiping their hands on their pants or skirts or uh, I don't know brushing your hair too much or maybe even walking on the spot you know at the same spot and it's really really unnecessary when you think about it please don't do this don't do this because it really looks ugly it's unnecessary uh, so if you have this problem, try just pressing your hand and your clothes will naturally absorb the sweat from your hands and it will not look as ugly. Ladies, if you have long hair, just fix it so that it stays off your face at all times because if you engage with your hair every other minute of your performance, you're sending the wrong message. And the message is, oh, my hair is so beautiful and uh, you know it's more important than what I'm playing right now. You don't want to do that, right? One very important thing and the most difficult thing to master is not making facial expressions when you have a mistake in your performance because this will enhance the effect of the mistake even more. So try and keep your poker face as much as you can. It takes practice. One also very important rule never ever turn your back to the audience even when you're tuning when you're checking something always keep at least from your profile and never ever turn your back because it is highly unprofessional okay so you're done performing you are receiving an applause the next thing that is most natural to happen is you're giving a bow to the audience. Most people still worry that it is a sign of disrespect if they're not looking at the audience while doing it, but uh, don't worry about that. Uh, it looks even better if you look at the ground while giving a bow instead of looking at the audience. Also, take your time when you're going out on the stage, when you're taking a bow, and when you finish and leaving the stage. You don't want to give the impression that you want to escape as fast as you can, even if you really want to. Another thing about the audience is how you see it when you get out on the stage. So many people tend to get nervous when they see how many people are there watching and uh, if they will recognize somebody, if there is someone important listening to them. But it's all a matter of your perspective and your choice. How do you choose to perceive the audience? Me personally, I perceive the audience as a big impressionist painting because impressionist paintings are all smudgy and you have to distance yourself from them to see them properly. But uh, in this case, I think of a big painting right in front of myself and it's a big smudge for me. I don't see anything. The audience notices everything, so that includes your outfit. I would just say this, dress tastefully and draw attention to your performance rather than your outfit. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please write down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.